during the course of the workshop, you've been talking about being appropriately selfish and then, then mindful of selfless. That was a nice juxtaposition of things, wasn't it? In other words, that isn't it interesting that the ultimate selfishness is selflessness? Because an ultimate selfishness becomes the ultimate we. Talk about consideration. Yeah. So in moments where conceptually I know that, or I've even had experience of being selfless. Yeah. But I'm in a, a current moment where what's there for me is the selfish desire. Good. Okay. And, and though it leads to upset with other people in my life. Well, that's their problem. What if the feedback is, you're such a selfish jerk? Like, I work at it. <laughs> because if I'm not selfish enough to stay connected to who I am, then I've no value to anyone. One time we were having a discussion with a mother about her adult son and we were encouraging her as we have been during these hours that we've been together and she said in response won't he feel like I am forsaking him because I if I'm not giving him what he thinks he needs from me but instead I'm selfishly satisfying my own connection won't he feel forsaken forgotten and we said how could that be how could you be tuned in to the whole of who you are to your vortex which includes every desire that you've ever held for him how could you be tuned to all of that and flowing all of that to him and how could he feel forsaken well she didn't really go along with this because she felt like he still could feel forsaken and we explained to her there's nothing that you can do about that because if someone else's judgment about your value to them is dependent upon their observation of your sacrifice of your connection or in order to give them something they're not going to get it not right now and you agreeing with them just to calm the savage beast is not sustainable okay so right there if they're upset causes my own discomfort but here's the thing what if you have trained yourself to such love and alignment that even though you're having a step one moment where you see that they are upset you don't go to their upsetness instead you stay true to your love of them it takes some doing for somebody to stay upset when you're loving them but if something else is happening like they're upset so then you're upset or they're resentful then you're resentful that's a whole different story so you got to ask yourself what kind of attraction is going on it is possible for you to stay full of love while they're upset with you and if you do that consistently we promise you they'll come around because they want to feel good and they want to love you and they want you to love and they want you to love them the common scenario is behave differently and I'll treat you differently but that's not the one you want to perpetuate that's making you all nuts knee-jerk responsing to the way people are behaving so many people that's their weak and not very effective attempt to control they want to control you through their smiling and pouting they want to train you that when they're smiling do more of that and when they're pouting do less of that and you want them to understand that their smiling or pouting are irrelevant to you because you're tuned to another smiler you're tuned to source energy and in time they'll come along or they won't so you had said one of the ways to align with source energy is through meditative practices and similar approaches we like the power of getting out ahead of it if you've tuned to who you are it's more likely that your chain won't be yankable because you're already tuned in so instead of responding in the way 
they expect you to or that you have in the past you're playful and you're loving anyway you're steady you're not manipulatable you sort of train them into believing you're manipulatable by being manipulatable in terms of approaches for being out in front of it one thing I heard you say was quiet the mind be free of the thought and then what will arise is thought from source and the premise of that is it's easier to achieve connection with this high flying vibration of source energy from a neutral place rather than digging a hole and getting in it and then climbing out of the hole to ground level and then climbing the ladder to the rainbows it's just better not to have dug the hole to begin with a lot of people dig a hole and get in it because when they get out of it people clap it's like good for you you got yourself out of the hole and hardly anybody says you're so wonderful you never get in a hole people want you to get in a hole for some reason so that they can make a monument when you climb out yeah like like the hole being the times in life where you get down on your knees and pray because you've just been taken to that yeah. versus like a daily yeah if you're too happy you're not relatable to most humans <laughs> <laughs>